Hello everyone, this is Pearl here. Uh, first of all, I have to apologize for making this video uh, so late because tomorrow is the race and maybe I should have done it yesterday, but okay, let's get started. Uh, first of all, first corner, you can see that white line crosses the, the, crosses the grass. That's gonna be your reference. As soon as you pass that line, uh, I think like 10 meters after that, you have to start braking. You don't have to brake entirely, you know, because if you do it, you won't be able to turn and brake at the same time. So you have to uh, do the braking smoothly, as you see. I just used the quarter of the brake at uh, this moment, and I try to I try to coast at the inside of the of this apex. I put fourth gear in the Viper. Um, another car that I will recommend is the SLS AMG, and also I've seen the the GTR is pretty fast too. The GTR is very fast on a straight line. It's gonna be very good for overtaking in this track, so it will be a very good pick. Also, the SLS SLS is even more stable in my opinion than the GTR. Um, okay, let, let's continue. The trick in this corner, yeah, you have to take the inside. Maybe the perfect line will be taking a little bit of the inside of the curve and try to accelerate as soon as possible. I lose some control there and that's what you don't want to do because uh, in this tr in this game the, uh, the key is try to be as smooth as possible. Okay, you just have to eat these curves. At, at flat out just don't even uh, lift the throttle on this section just go flat out it's it ain't easy at the first time but as uh, soon as you do it some um, a lot of times you won't have any problems the key is try to aim well way earlier than the corner as you see way earlier than the corner even starts I'm needing the curves with two wheels that's the key. Well, I did uh, 22.5 or 23.5 at this section. It's not the best. Uh, I think the best ever would be uh, 22.3 high or 22.4. It will be the best uh, or the average for, for this section. Uh, although 23 or 22, I can remember very good. Uh, it's a it's a good time. It's not going to ruin your lap, you know. Let's continue. This is another important section. It's not my best at this lap, but I'm going to try to explain you. Um, you can see that 50 meter sign. Well, that's your reference. You have to go through the right um, curve and then take the inside as as you can. Well, I lost the inside a little bit on this section. I think you can do it a little bit better. Yeah, you can see I I went out a little bit. You can do it a little better. Even with the SLS and the GTR, that section you can do it even faster. You know, the, those cars are very, very quick and stable at uh, high speed. Also have very good downforce. So you won't have so much troubles like I did with the Viper. Well, this is the trickiest, the trickiest and most hard and stupid section ever. Yeah, this is the most dirtiest <laughs> part of the um, of the lap time. But let me explain to you. Uh, as you see, I'm not taking the complete right in this section. Um, I'm not braking entirely with the car straight. I'm trying to aim in a um, uh, diag um, diagonal. Uh, braking you have to see the braking zone the braking zone it's a little bit earlier than the 100 meter sign uh, although it's very very difficult so I recommend to to do it a little bit earlier for a start and and then you you start to trying a little bit more hard braking and some engine braking too in order to feed the car for the next corner so let me explain you as you see i'm go i'm not going straightly i'm trying to aim the 100 meters mark and that's 
when I'm, I'm trying to start to breaking as you see this is a little bit earlier than the 100 meters mark yeah another problem is that you <laughs> completely go through the glass through the grass and that's uh, a problem at the uh, 50 meters uh, sign you can see that I'm already aiming for the for the next corner uh, remember that uh, the track limits of Gran Turismo allows to the curves are part of the track to that's gonna be very very tricky for the race because you can uh, you're it's very risky for for a penalty but uh, for a whole lap you, you can do it as fast as possible so you have to squeeze all the time that uh, that's uh, possible okay yeah Two, two wheels always uh, on the curve and two wheels on the grass, it will be good. The car don't, don't lose as much as the speed as you thought, because this is a little bit unrealistic, but let's continue. Yeah, again, two wheels on the curve, two wheels on the grass. Uh, try to be as fast as possible. Lift a little bit of the throttle if you thinking that you are losing control, you can lift the throttle a little bit unless you no 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 nothing <laughs> this is a tricky one too i took the whole grass in this car and incredibly i i didn't lose much speed this section was very very good for me actually because my first two sectors wasn't very good okay soon as you see these three layers these three five and r you have to know that at the end of these of these letters you have to start breaking so you have to brake very hard and take the inside of the hair spin. You don't want to to drift uh, at all, so you have to be very smooth on this one. Use the engine brake. Um, maybe if you are very capable with uh, controls, you can put um, a brake balance in two here in this section. I use brake balance in zero for the whole track, uh, but that's just me and I'm very used to this car so that's ain't a problem as you see at, at, le at the end of the uh, letters I start braking very hard with put second gear and this is key too because you have to floor it as, as fast as possible but not full throttle as you see I'm using almost the half and a little bit less <laughs> Okay, that was a very good section for me. I did a 1.4.5 1, 1 and that's pretty decent considering that my first sector wasn't very good. I think I could have done a 4.3, 4.2 but let's continue. This section was very good too for me. Go flat out. Soon as you touch this right curve you have to start braking a little bit. Not not braking at all, uh, at full braking, you know, just a uh, slightly touch in order to feed the car for the next chicane, that's very tricky too. Yeah, some guys try to eat the, this curve with in the same way that I did with the past chicane, but it's not the best, you lose a lot of speed and it's very likely that you are going to be <laughs> have a penalty so um, I try to do it as less as possible so and this is very very difficult corner I try to floor it um, even before I saw the uh, the right the right apex apex and um, because with the oversteer of the car I could I was able to feed the car on the on the apex And this is, there are several techniques, but um, the idea is the same. I, I personally use the, um, the left curve of this corner and then take the inside as much as possible. Some guys don't use the, um, the curve, but um, I think it's equally as fast. And you have to be very smooth. You don't want to drift it here because uh, it will mess your with your lap. Yeah, third gear in this car is good. You can use the second gear to feed the car and then use the third gear because it has a lot of torque at low RPM. So that's very good. You can also do it with the bed. The bed is very good. In, it's very similar to this car actually.
Well, and as you see, I'm not shifting at the complete RPMs because that's the the peak power of this car. And I did 31.875. So that was a pretty good lap. Let's see it completely right now and on, on board. Start braking, checking the inside. No, it could have been better. Yeah, you want the inside on that corner. You don't want to go as far as I went, as I did. It's a tricky part. Eating those curves, yeah. Very nasty from myself. Yeah, fuck this corner. Was a very good corner exit, very good. Tricky part too. Yeah, you coast a little bit and then start flooring it. Second gear to feed the car, third gear to go out. Gentle on the throttle and flat out from this moment and all. So guys, I hope this video helped you. Uh, please subscribe if this is like you, but I'll try to upload it uh, earlier than I did this time. So cheers and thank you for everything.